Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again bringing you guys another episode of my head-to-head -head season series here on Madden 15 Ultimate Team. If you missed the last game, go check it out. It says we got a loss, but if you actually watch the game, we got completely screwed. We actually won that game. The game glitched somehow and gave me a loss. I have no worries. EA is so messed up this year. But what are you going to do? We'll, we're trying to turn this thing around here, trying to make it a 2-1 start to the season. Should be 3-0, but whatever. All right, let's take a look at this guy's lineup. Very, very good. Pretty much a 99 at just about every position. Rip through it real fast for you guys. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty much what you face in the all Madden division for the most part. Uh, first play on offense, we lost yardage, but the second play, we're able to pick up a huge pass there to Kevin White over the middle. I'm kind of using him as my slot receiver lately, um, and he's turned out to be a pretty good slot receiver. He's so quick that it's so difficult to defend him. Second and 17 here after taking a sack, we hit Calvin Johnson over the middle for a big first down. Brings up now another first down, and we're going to try and run off the right side here. Marshawn Lynch picking up about seven on that one. Sets up a second and three. We're going to go back to Marshawn Lynch up the middle. Easy pick up there on the smash play. Now we've got 13 yards here, and we've ran the ball fairly effectively. We're going to continue to try and do that here off the left side on first down. Picking up about six on that one. And on this play, I'm actually kind of surprised at how much protection I got here. It, I just didn't have anybody open to throw the ball to, so we end up taking a sack there. Third and eight, and we're going to throw this thing up to Calvin Johnson and check out this interception. What? Calvin Johnson drops the ball. First of all, it should have been a catch. But take a look at this unbelievable interception by Patrick Peterson. I have no words for this. He hits the ball away, diving toward the ground one-handed. He wasn't even the guy that was covering Calvin crazy crazy play by pat pete and now of course we're in trouble because now my opponent's got the ball he's gonna throw this thing into double coverage but rob gronkowski somehow catches it looks like it like teleported through two of my defenders but what are you gonna do there uh first and 10 here he picks up five he's running the ball fairly effectively here right up the middle with barry sanders uh barry obviously is more known for his elusiveness and not really so much for his inside running so i was kind of surprised that he kept doing that but eric weddle is gonna get the interception on this drive to stop what was a pretty good drive for him at that point back now into scoring position here at about the 25 yard line we've got a hole here with marshawn lynch picking up about nine on that one third and one here and bruce miller we're testing out this bruce miller guys i'm just borrowing it from a friend uh but yeah bruce miller with a big pickup there on first down sets up the calvin johnson touchdown so despite the fact that we got completely robbed on that previous drive when, when calvin dropped it we are still going to take the lead here, 7 to nothing here, with about a minute left now in the first half. And he is just throwing things up here, but he is going to take a sack on this one. Mean Joe Green forces the fumble as well. Brings up a third and 25, which means, yeah, I'm bringing heat, guys. Force him to throw this thing up, and Joe Hayden gets the interception. Stepping in front of that one, and he is going to make a nice return here, actually breaking a tackle, and he's finally taken down at about the seven-yard line. We've got a chance here now to score one more time, and Julio Jones is going to come up with it to put this game up two scores for us heading into the half. And now we've got a chance on defense here. First play of the second half. And we are going to undercut this one. Gotcha, bitch. Luke Keekley gets the user pick. And again, we are in another red zone situation here. Not quite technically in the red zone. But we're going to get there on this pass to Mike Ditka. Down to about the five-yard line. And we've scored twice with passes out of the same exact formation. So I tried to mix it up here and run. Unfortunately, did not work out for us. Third and goal here. And we're going to try and pass. Oh, Marshawn Lynch was wide open. Brady just sailed that thing right over his head. Should have been an easy touchdown, but we are going to take the field goal here to go up three scores. So pretty nice situation to be here with about three minutes left here in the third quarter. My opponent's made quite a few bad passes, and he's going to make another one there. Probably could have been intercepted. Brings up a third and 10 here, and we are going to get a big sack there with Chris Harris Jr. Fourth and 15 now, and again, we got to send heat here. We're not messing around. We do not want to allow him to come back in this game, and we do get another sack here. This time, it is Joe Hayden off the opposite side. My opponent immediately presses pause, and he is going to quit this football game. So, yes, we are going to walk away with the W here. Thankfully, thankfully, this time we actually got the win. It didn't rob us, so I'm happy about that. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, of course, be sure to hit that like button. That's how I grow this channel. So thank you so much for all the support. If you're new to the channel, of course, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks again for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you again soon.